The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour. This is Tuesday, Tuesday, the 24th of May. And what we're looking at here is something very interesting. You've had the volatility actually start to climb after that really good Friday low in all the indices. Very strong close on Friday. Uh, in that last um, hour and a half, you saw a spectacular 600-point uh, Dow move, and then you had a beautiful follow-through with the Dow up 600 points yesterday. Normally, I'm anticipating a 20 to 30 percent of the last hour's um, big move to the upside. So this is a little more than we're looking at, and you've got the VIX index for the first time um, after the move yesterday, where it started to pull back. Now, all of a sudden, you've got the VIX up at 29.91. If it starts to go into the 30.50 area a little later today, that's going to be very poor action. Let's just go through the numbers. We've got the Dow. Uh, the Dow is down 221. Not bad, not bad at all after coming up from 30,535 to the high yesterday of 31,770. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's a 1,200-point really move in, in just a couple of days. So we're giving back nothing unusual here except two things. One is we needed the Dow, and the, the, the day is young. We need the Dow to at least move towards the – let me just get this change. Yeah, there we, we needed to move at least towards the nine-period moving average of 31,844, somewhere by the latest tomorrow. The The – couple of starts that we've had this morning after being down sharply overnight were good. I would have much preferred for them to not be there at all and have the market weak, 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 and then slowly as we get to 11, 11 o'clock this afternoon um, as I'm finishing my show and then we move on to maybe 12.30 this afternoon, suddenly you start to see some, some buying pressure that allows the general, I don't want just the Dow, I want the general market to move, and you absolutely need the um, the QQQ, which is trading right now, very put, where did that go? I wrote it in there, then to the den, I don't need it in the den, I need it right here. The QQQ, which is at 283.55, underneath key support, um, at the 288 level, uh, now this is going to be a little bit more serious. You're down almost 10 at 283.71. Well, of course, you've had a whole bunch of um, NASDAQ-type stocks that really have been pummeled lately. So what you, what you want to see is some leadership and how that leadership unfolds is going to be much tougher right now. Now, one of the things I discuss is within the Chapman Wave methodology. Let me see if I can go. Yeah, yeah, I'll just go here to my chart that I show my subscribers every day. So this was the fifth Chapman Wave Roman candle. We've had variations of it. I've never spoken about variations before until recently. And each one produced a fabulous two-day, at least two-day rally. Some were three, some were more. And then it failed. And then it failed and went to a lower low. Well, so far, we've had a spectacular turnaround on Friday from 30,635 to a big move up to the 31,700s. Hits the, nine, the pink nine-period exponential moving average. Just can't get out of its own way, 35,590. And what do we see? We see kaplop. We've got a move down today, 288. If we go down minus 350, and hold it for an hour and a half, I think that's not going to be good action. Certainly within two days, if there is a move, and you never know in a market like this, I'm just throwing it out there. If there is a move of the Chapman Wave Roman candle long wick underneath 31,000, and it holds for more than a few hours, I think we're going straight down to test the low that was made at 30,635. That makes it very important that in the next couple of moments, uh, moments are meaning... 20 minutes to 40 minutes. Some kind of some kind of leadership role gets it just unfolds and allows the um, 
the tendency for buyers to come in when the selling dries up to work. And that's all we can say. So let's go back to our story here. Uh, I'm going to give you parameters to watch. In the, oh, let me just show you something here. Have I done this before? I haven't done this before. Let me see. Is this the one? Yeah. So let's go to this. This is the Chapman Wave automated um, notations. Look at all these support levels here. This is the QQQ daily chart. Look how the, it's negative. It's um, the nine is under the 14 period moving average, and each each support level has held for a moment and then been taken out. The 332.47 last uh, only uh, ups, upside resistance, and the high was actually 330.29. That came in and pu pushed the price back. Now we're starting to move underneath these key support levels of 287. Not oh, is that four or seven? Seven. And we're at 283.56. If you're looking at the Dow, are also negative connotations here. 31,300 31, is a really important support. Uh, otherwise, you go down to the 30,689 level. And of course, we will, are looking at the low of 30,635. So it, it, it nicked it by uh, 50 points. And now we're going to see the QQQ. Uh, we did the QQQ. Let's do the S&P. S&P at this particular with Chapman Wave automated support levels. If we take out this level right here of 389, 380, yes, 3891, we're at 3897 right now. Watch out, the 3750 area, 49 area will become a target. Don't really want to see that, not today. Uh, IWM, we did, we, let's look at the, oh, let's do the IWM. Russell 2000 has, um, 172 as support and it's trading at 173.98. Very few support uh, resistance levels. I don't like that. That just says each level of support is really important to hold. If you look at the SMHs, and that was a clue yesterday. You didn't get the SMH moving like it should. And today it's down seven at 221, 222.71. Uh, the 205.62 is the key support, next key support level. So that's not uh, not such a great sign. Looking at the GC, the gold. Gold has had a very nice move up. It's hitting the 200 period exponential moving average. 1896 is a strong resistance. If it's able to close, I would have to say if it closes above 1878, it's at 1863 right now, there's a real good chance that the 1890 area is going to be a very quick target to the upside. How does it hold the support? We'll see. Looking at silver, let's go to the silver. Silver has, waiting for data, waiting for data. Come on, silver. Hey, ho, ho. There we go. Silver is holding quite nicely here. Um, it's made a peak, a leg B. It's at 22.01. It's up 0.29. It's not a great pattern at this particular point, but it is moving up. Let me just show you show you the GDX, because a lot of people have asked about that. has supported 30.17, and it went down to 29.66. It had a double support, 30.46 and 3017. 33.17 is the resistance and the upside in today's high so far is 32.79. Looking at um, the dollar, I wonder if I haven't got this for the moment. Yeah, recent time, 105.13 was the resistance, 105.0301 was the um, recent recovery high in the dollar index. 101.80 is the support is trading right now at 101.93. The TLT, which is the key ones, has doubled support at 110.22. Booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. The, the uh, bonds are up. TLT is up 252. Just starting a leg C right now. Uh, that's a good sign in terms of the yields because now you've got, you've got the yields starting to come down. That's really important. If you're looking at, let me just do the U.S., which is the, uh, whoops, U.S. is bond itself. That TLT is the Lehman 20, 20 year treasury bond fund. Uh, we're going to go to bonds, and bonds is, yep, same thing, acting very, very nicely. So we got ourselves a TLT uh, buy signal that's really close to a buy mode because the stochastic's at 86% in the bonds. MACD's good. Nine-period moving average has gone over the 14. So bonds can actually start to move. This doesn't seem to be helping the market at all. The Dow is now, the Dow is now down. 436 of 31,441. Uh, so every single time we've had this fabulous candle given a beautiful 600, in this case, a 1,000-point rally, it then failed. And so far, we've got to consider that the dollar, uh, that the Dow daily, um, this is not great action at all. The S&P, that's a very different uh, kettle of fish because the S&P at this particular moment has taken out the low of uh, Monday, and has taken out the close and open of Friday, and we're into the wick. And once again, I'll say it, if the wick, if we go into this wick and hold more than 90 minutes below 38.67, then the S&P is a real good chance we're going to go straight back and test the 38.10 level of Friday. We don't, we don't really want to see this if you are looking at signs of some kind of strength to say, Within the general economy, we know that uh, there are so many factors that are, are impacting the market. Let's see where Zoom is doing. Uh, Zoom had some earnings that were okay, I guess, or at least at first they thought it was great. It bounced about 12 points. Now it's down 56 cents at 88.73. It just doesn't get a break. It's, it made a trough E in the uh, weekly uh, look at the spectacular move from 588.84 with the 477 round number open back in October of 2020. And here we are at 88. I mean, 588 to 88. You've just lost 500 of those points. This is, this is not good action. So right as we're speaking, this is the very moment 
that at 10.25, is that right? 10.21, between 10.21 and 10.40, this is the moment that the general market has to at least try to find some stabilization so that don't, it, it, the prices don't go to the QQQ going to the bottom of that wick. Let's just see. QQQ, uh, the QQQ, oh yeah, it's into the middle of that wick. Uh-oh, we're going to give it about another hour. And if it holds under 284, uh, let's call it 280, yeah, under 285, it's trading at 282, 81 right now. Uh, then there's a real good chance that we're going to go to a leg D below 280.21 very quickly. So, yes, there were signs. Look, the vertical test um, on the May the 12th, yeah, May the 12th, um, had better technicals than it had been in, re in the recent weeks. And then the low that was made on Friday saw much better stochastic, much better um, MACD, but no, the on-balance volume wasn't there. So this move that we're looking at right now, the failure to go, it did make a very, I thought it made a slight peak A yesterday, 293.80, 293.87, yes, there was an A, a very minuscule A, um, but that doesn't matter. We're looking at the prices and the prices, the arbitrary of the trend. So uh, today is the last day of options roll, uh, over so expect the unexpected yes s p thank you for that uh, i forgot about that uh, 2022 phrase of the year jimmy says demand destruction of oh, demand discretion not demand destruction destruction but the demand is being destructed so let's go on we're going to be looking i i just wanted to show you this here because it's really important we like to be uh, very timely here um at tfn when we're looking at the markets so what we're looking at here, this is a gray A in the in the S and P. It went down to 3876.75. It's trading at 3889.75. No, 38.88 um, at this particular point. So if you are thinking this is the moment where some form of reversal attempt and then maybe a first one and then a second one with a higher low is needed. That's not good enough because we haven't had enough upside action. So if the upside went to uh, 38.89 to 30, so no, 30, I'd say 38.92, and then we pull back, and then we went a little higher, and then we pull back deeper, but we didn't take out the 38.76.75 in the E mini um, futures June contract. Then I would say, aha. Now we're ready for some kind of, in some ways, because the cues are so much weaker. If the cues weren't that weak, I'd say, you know what? Let's just show you something. I'll get back to this in a moment. But while I'm thinking of it, because I think it's very important, the the um, DOG, which is one to one short the Dow, went to 36.65 in leg and then a peak D. That's what we look for where other things can happen. Well, other things did happen. It pulled back very sharply. Yesterday, it went down to the 35, around about 35 level. And now it's at 35.67. But it's still way underneath that high that was made at 36.65. This is the one-to-one -one short, the, the, the Dow. The one-to-one -one short, the S&P, is the SH. It did a recycle, and it went to a peak D as well. This one went to 16.52, I think it was, 16, 16, oh, 16.54, and at 16.54, let me just 16, 16.54, what we're looking at is um, it pulled back, okay, not, not that much, but it pulled back to the 1570s, and now it's at 16.21. So this is just saying to me, this is one of the reasons why I say to subscribers, I think that we are trying to establish some kind of support level. We don't get too carried away. We still have the very high cash position. We've got trades going in and out. But at the same time, what I am looking at here is that within the context of the weekly chart, there's only a leg C. Now, it doesn't mean that the uh, inverted uh, indices always go to Ds and then fail. No, they can, they can fail beforehand because... Uh, they go one-to-one, -one, but it isn't an exact copy, a replica, or a mirror image. 
So I always say, I, I like to see Ds or Es, but that's not necessarily the expectation. So with that said, uh, Dow's down 412, S&P's down 189. This is just not good action. The QQQ is down at 10 at 282. I need to just keep checking my, um, my, there. I uh, one minute to the break, but I don't know when that came in. 825. Yeah, I guess we're coming into the break. 30 seconds to the break. I don't want to miss it. Again, I had this earphone thing, and I hope I, during the break I'm going to be able to fix it. I probably should shut everything down, but it'll take too long to come back up. So I'm going to only be able to do some kind of adjustment. We'll see what happens. Um, and I'm about to say uh, we'll be back in a moment. Dallas now a little bit better. I'll be down on If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, you want to bring me in? Hi, right, folks, we're back. So we're looking at the SH, which is a one-to-one -one <clears throat> short, the S&P, and it's made a peak D. If you look at the S at uh, the SPY itself, the SPY has gone down to um, a trough D. So as I was saying, this is really a very important moment because within the context of some of the technicals I look at, not the major ones, but some of the technicals, the actual, it's better to show you this way, look. See the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone? See how it's worked so nice? It had worked so nicely. I don't know if it'll still work here on the weekly chart. Look at that. It ran up from that level. It's kind of what you want. Um, and even the pullback today of 407 in the Dow, that's not bad. But it's the S&P, uh, the 500 stocks 
that we're looking at. So let me just do a couple of things right now. Uh, you've gone underneath the Chapman Wave Inside Track support level. So that's a negative. The QQQ, as I said before, very ugly. Not good at all. So I don't want to be messing around in this. And for that reason, we've held up a big cash position. We are trying to get into certain uh, very low-priced areas. Uh, why? Because you don't have to put that much money to work. If, they, if it works very nicely, it gives you a nice percentage gain. Just keep, we want to keep doing that. And, and as long as we can do it, that's a good sign. So on Friday, I, I showed, on Saturday, for my overview for my subscribers, I showed a stock, uh, MNKD. This is called Mankind Corporation, M-A-N-N-K-I-N-D Corporation, Inhale Therapeutics, Diabetes, Pulmonary, Hypertension. And I said, look at this incredible, this was right here. It was right here. Yeah, the, uh, that's where it was, right there. And I said it showed up on my screamer list. What is a screamer list? It's stocks that are under ten dollars that have a chance to give a really good, very quick percentage gain. And if you're lucky, we we get them on any kind of pullback, or we get them and they move, and you take off some and you keep some. It's as simple as that. Well, um, I had it here on Saturday. I didn't put it in yesterday uh, because. I just wasn't. I was looking at the general market and thinking, "Wow, that is it going to be a good day today?" Is, is let's just focus on that. And so we basically focus a lot on the indices. And look at this move. It went from basically a low of three, around about three sixty, and screamed up to a high of four, four seventy seven. Now, I, I, you know, diabetes, therapeutics, pulmonary hypertension, I guess there's inhaled therapeutics. This is a, it's a big deal these days, but these biotech stocks just go in and out of phase. So I thought, all right, today, and what I had written today is, let's try to buy it on a pullback under four with a 25 cent stop. And if it goes, and I have all the, all the rules, that if it gets to a certain point, take a little bit off, raise the stop, et cetera. But it did everything, and I blipped it out at the very last minute, and I thought, I just, i got to focus on these, uh, the, the stocks that we have. Well, look at it now. It's up 17 cents at 4.34, and I don't know if it's an F continuation from that peak, E, because it never, at 2.61 on the 12th of May, it never took out the low that was made to start the buy mode, uh, before, 2.49, uh, that was on the 28th of Feb. So um, it, it could be, it is biotech, so you've got to be real careful. But yes, I took it off. I'm sorry about that. It would have been a real nice one because we would have got it under four and it would have been trading up about 8% uh, from that low. Um, and that, that would have been, re re that's just kind of the stuff I want to be doing right now for subscribers, just getting really small caps, um, not small caps in the sense that they are cheap. They could be expensive small caps, but they are just price-wise. And yes, there are a lot of people that keep wanting to uh, be involved in the market all the time, regardless of what's happening. We've built up this huge cash position. Don't have to be overdoing anything. But look what happened. Big spike up uh, up 13 cents at 4.30, hit 4.39 today. The low is 3.92. Ah. I always I hate it when I, I do the work and then at the very last minute I blip it out. Uh, most of the time, it's not a good idea to blip it out because you've done the homework, you've done everything. I, I just, I don't know what to say, just a little embarrassing there. And I also wanted it because it would make up for the one that we had yesterday. A very low price, but it, it didn't do what we wanted and it pulled back much sharper than I wanted it to. But at least we had a very a fairly tight stock for a very low price stock. So with that said, um, TD, TTD, question in the den, oh, is it a statement? TTD is, this is the trade station. Uh, look at that gap to the downside, down 10 at 42.25. This is the thing that I'm, I'm most worried about, that even though there have been so many stocks that have been just lambasted, this is a stock that was once in the 116, I think it was, 15 or 16, 114.89 was the high back in November 2021, and here it is 
42. It hit 40 this morning. It had a low just under 40 a week and a half ago. Everything is getting docu. Let's see what happened to DocuSign. DocuSign uh, also turning around. It's at 72. It's trying to make it an arch formation. This is really important. If it breaks under 70, that's just not good. a good sign at all. It's at 72. This is a stock that was at 314.76 back in August of this past year. The, I, the, it's quite remarkable. Shopify. Shopify trading down again today, 338. Down 30 and 8, 8% at 337.39. This is a stock that was at 1762 back in November. 1762 sounds like a date we should know. Um, yeah, so this is really a very important thing. So a couple of questions came in that um, pertain to over over the evening period, and let me just show you something here. And please, Al, just do me a favor, give me a yell to say that because I'm going to try to restart my computer when we get back. Um, Yes. Yesterday, I when I didn't I really didn't sound like a bull. What I was saying is that on a very short term basis, I was very, it was very positive that we had that follow through. And then the question always comes in. Five times we've had Chapman Wave. Um, yeah, let me just go through this again. Five times we've had the Chapman Wave Roman candle or a variation of it. And I just need to check here. Is that going to be giving me a, a minute and a half to the break? Thank you. Uh, just, just yell in my ear and just tell me it's all over or whatever. Um, so we're looking at the Dow. That was a very good candle, but we've seen this before. And what I said, we've got to see what happens on the third, the second or third session after the rally, and that's where we are. So with that said, I'm just going to say the Dow is down 428. This is really very ugly action. I don't want to do anything other than to say um, bad. That is not good. In the big picture, it is still, the month of May is a little bit young, uh, only because what we're looking at is uh, the, oh, let me see, can I get that in time? Yes, that the monthly chart has gone from 36,952 to 30,635. Uh, no, it went, to, yes, 635. In all this time, with the most terrible news that we've had, in, in years, we have had accumulation. All right, we've got the break coming up. Uh, folks, this is Bowser Chapman, Tag Technicians Hour. I'm going to actually shut everything down. I have to try something to get this working. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, Basil Chapman. We're off back. We managed to restart, but of course I still don't have my earphone. Doesn't matter, we're going to keep going. And what I wanted to show you is that within the Dow, the Dow is now down 400. Just trying to stabilize. I don't want to mess around with this. I'm just going to give you what we're looking at. Amazon. Amazon trading at this particular point. Let's go to Amazon. Amazon is trading at a new low. At down 85 at 2065. Uh, Goog, Google is trading at a new low, down 169 in 2064. Uh, you've got Netflix, Netflix, not at a new low, but at 178, it's just off the low, and it was once upon a time $700, and now it's $178, not a good sign. Apple, Apple is trading at 138. It's down, but it's off the low that was made at about 134 the other day. It's at 138.40, down 473, and 138.36. Uh, underneath the Chapman Wave inside track support level, it's now a repellent zone, and it actually tried to get there yesterday, and then it got repelled. So putting that together, this particular chart here on the right, uh, in the middle, that's the weekly chart. Look at the GDX. The GDX... Um, had this vertical move straight up, it was like an inversion. There's the same pattern that we're looking at, the inversion of the falling axe. And then it ran sharply to the 41 area, plummets down to 29, and is now trying to stabilize. Remember what I said, that the 200-period the moving average was such re support, and then it became such resistance at 34.25. Now what it has to do is it has to see the 9-period cross over the 14. It hasn't done that yet in the daily chart for the GDX market vectors, gold miners, ETF. And if it is able even to get to the 33.58 level and hold there for a little while, there's a good chance that it's going to be able to try for 34.25. Put that together with the DXY, which is the um, the dollar index, and the dollar index is down 26 ticks at 101.82. Not a big deal when it was at 105.01 just the other day because it's had such a spectacular move going all the way from the 90 area to 105. Now it's under duress, and if you look at the EUR USD, which is a euro-dollar currency pair, what we're looking at is that is a strong move. That, in fact, has got the stochastic almost at 80%, 79.32. The MACD is good. 
and the nine period moving average is within a day or two of attempting to cross positive. And that's just saying to me that after the spectacular move, this huge arch formation formed in the, in the euro dollar currency pair from the 1.063 uh, March 2020 low all the way to the double top at the 1.20s, it came all the way down and broke underneath. And then you have to wait. This is a weekly chart. You have to wait for a buy signal to go to a buy mode. We haven't yet got the buy signal in the weekly chart, but it has gone above the left side low of March of 2020. That's the first time that it's done it with conviction. That's today. And that the week is Tuesday. It's not even, I mean, we're barely into the week. So let's wait the full week. But it's saying to me that there is a change in the context of the different currencies. And if you're looking at the uh, peak G that was made in the doji candle in the uh, the US dollar Japanese yen on the 9th of May at 131.34, we're down at 126.52. We're in a sell signal in the daily. That's all we get. And a leg D going to a peak D in the weekly and a leg E in the monthly. And that just says the dollar is probably going to be under pressure. I don't know how much gold would actually move to the upside, but definitely it's formed a base and it's got key support. And I think that there's a good chance that Gold is going to at least hold very well, but you need the GD GDX, the, you need the gold miners to participate. If you're looking at the XLF, had a, a very nice session yesterday, fading now at 33.32, not good. There's the arch formation in the um, weekly chart. Um, this is just not good action at all. So there's the select spider fund. I did the SMHs. Let's go to the I want uh, questions can, have come in. Oh, yes. Could I look at the IYT, the transports? Transports, horrible session today, down 6.34 at 218.58. 216.06 was the lower Friday. This is not good action in the daily, the weekly, or the monthly in the um, in the transports. So the question came in, what about the weekly chart of the Dow? Where, where are you? Where, what's your stance? And the answer is, I have to still consider that it's trying to form some kind of a base. The Dow is the strongest of the different indices, and I'm using it just as a benchmark to say that within the context, because this is what we usually, uh, uh, for the subscribers, we usually uh, are, are trading the diamonds or the DOG, one of the long or the shorts. And in this particular instance, we are still long the diamonds, I believe. I don't want to talk out of turn. Let me just see. I No, I don't know if we are still in it because uh, I changed the parameters. So within that context, all I can say is I'm not – the reason why we've got this big amount of cash is because I do not like the market at this particular point. I didn't like it for a long time. But I don't yet want subscribers to be putting a huge amount of work money to work at this particular point. Just keep it as trades. More importantly, what we're looking at is if there is a failure today into tomorrow, Wednesday, the Fed speak day, by the close of tomorrow, I think we're going to get a tremendous amount of information over the coming two days. Why? Because look, the QQQ has in fact, now it's gone for even longer. It's maybe got another 30 minutes, gone halfway below the wick that's under 285 the wick of friday it's there now let me just look at the 120 minute chart that'll tell me a little bit more yep there it is um so this is now all, all of all of this candle no i can't do that i have to go to the 10 minute chart uh, can you um uh, let's see al i'm going to move back to you i just i can't see everything at the same time uh, is this a new one 1037 a break? Is there another break coming? Just let me know, please. So what I'm looking at here is in the 100. Yeah, we did the 120. But we just go to the 10 minute chart. If you're looking at the, um, what are we looking at? We're looking at the uh, DIA. No, we're looking at the QQQ. Yeah, look at this. The Qs have been under 285 for. In this segment, it's got to be consecutive. But this is evenings. I'm going to give it till, till 11 30. If at 11 30, use the store on the plate.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, Dallas, I'm 477. And this is, this is the ugliness that I said I didn't want to see because it looked as if we were just trying to form some kind of a, a tradable low. It might be. It hasn't taken up the lows of Friday. But this is very ugly action. And what we're looking at within the context of that was a peak D in the 120 million chart. Yes, thank you very much. Um, so all I'm saying is that I still believe very strongly that cash is king and that you will be able to put, let's say you missed the exact low. Let's say the Dow is off 59 points and now you've got confirmation. This is a big deal. If you get the trend to the outside, you start to put money through. If you're wrong, on the downside, unless you have very tight stops, just doing trading, you can sit there and you can go to another 10 or 12 percent to the downside. No, no one needs that. Just as I said, I said before. Now, what I am impressed with, we had Amgen, we were out of Amgen, and this Amgen has held beautifully with so many of the pharmaceuticals. This is a leg D, trading up one at 50.04. Could have jumped back in, just didn't do that. Now what we're looking at, if you're looking at Merck, Merck is above in leg D at 94.04. This is a sector that's been really, I, I like to say on fire, I like to use the markets, um, especially the house you're in, a bit of a fire recently, so I use that. But this is really wonderful action for the PPH, which I believe PPH, get their PPH is, in fact, this is the pharmaceutical 
So, oh, isn't that interesting? So the fact vector form ETF is not doing anywhere close to as well as some of these. So it's sector selective. You've got to be careful. I still believe oil will very well. The ice pack of what's not happening.